Look what just came in the mail. A USB 12 watt power adapter from Apple. To charge faster, you gotta spend money on a better AC adapter. It says 12 watt on the bottom. But the real question is, is it faster than third party adapters? This Anchor AC adapter should match Apple's and it provides dual USB ports, each delivering 12 watts. So, Apple's up first. A wired connection is obviously going to be faster than wireless. Immediately, the iPhone is pulling 11 watts from Apple's 12 watt USB adapter. I logged an average 10.6 watt output and an 11.4 max when the screen is on. While Anchor seems to draw a bit more with a max of 12.1 watts, your iPhone will draw the maximum output when the screen is active. I clocked an average of 10.6 watts, which is faster than Apple's AC adapter. Now let's put Qi wireless charging to the test. Amazon is saturated with affordable off-brand wireless Qi pads. This Ceneo was 20 bucks. Despite the minute it takes to ramp up, it draws an average of about 8.2 watts, maxing at about 8.6 with the screen on. I'm seeing identical performance and wireless charging before and after the iOS 11.2 update. It would be nice to see a software fix that matches wireless with wired efficiency. Interestingly, Apple's adapter edges out maxing 8.7 watts, averaging about 8.6 watts. I noticed more consistency from Apple's AC adapter, while Anchor is much more variable. Again, it clocked a max 8.6 with the Samsung Qi charging pad, but had a subpar average around 7.6 with quite volatile output fluctuations. Apple delivers consistent 8.2 watt average, maxing around 8.4 watts. Now, these aren't controlled tests, but it gives you an idea of how they stack up. For affordability and more functionality at half the price, Anchor still beats Apple's 12 watt adapter, even though it might lose in the long run by about 20%. So is charging slightly faster worth the price difference to you?